It is so late for me because it is 10.04. I'm going to make one more video after this, but Kaylee Kuko and her husband are divorced in. Wow, after 21 months. You know, this is sort of like Kim Kardashian, Humphreys, but they didn't last for days, so... I don't know why they're divorced in, but let's see what it says. I just found this out on Facebook. I was scrolling down. I'm like, I gotta find another story. So then I love stroll down. I found this interesting. I wonder why they're divorcing. <laughs> Kaylee Kuko and husband Ryan Sweden divorcing. Wow. It's over. Yet another Hollywood favorite couple have revealed that they're heading to Splitsville. Kaylee Kugel Sweden and her husband, Ryan Sweden, have decided to divorce after nearly two years of marriage. E! News confirms. Kaylee Kugel and Ryan Sweden have mo mutually decided in their marriage. Kugel's rep tells us they ask for privacy at this time. No further statement will be issued regarding this matter. The Big Bang Theory star and the tennis player wed on December 31st, 2013. E! News has reached out for comment. The pair were actually at the center of splits rumors earlier this year, but this TV star took to Instagram to quickly shut that down. I have never been more proud of anyone on this planet. This guy is fighting back from a whirlwind of injuries, and not to mention constant conversation regarding our marriage, and basically in daily decisions we decide to make. Kuko wrote in April that post along with most Instagram Post related to Ryan has been taken down. While Kaylee has stayed mum about their split on social media, she did directly refer reference the big news, posting a cute photo of, of puppy laying, lying on his back with a cup of wine, captioning it hashtag mood. One year ago today, I married someone who truly changed my life. Ryan, you are kind, gentle, passionate. Patient, given, silly, and the most loving creature on earth. You are my everything. Happy one year anniversary, my love. Coco wrote praising her hubby for his endless love and support in honor of their one year anniversary. Raleigh and Kaylee said I do on New Year's Eve at Hummingbird Nest Ranch, a Spanish style villa in sprawling grounds tailor made for parties. In the occasion film shot, nestled in the Santa Susana Mountains just north of Los Angeles. The blonde beauty wore a custom petal pink strapless toe ball gown by Vera Wayne, which featured a sweetheart necklace neckline, a hand gathering detailed bodice, and hand applique Chandelier Lace Agent. The veil for her special day with Kaylee proceeding to call the best night of her life was new to all with pink petal pink floating hand applique Chantley lace and also designed by Wayne. They look so happy. I admit it happened fast, but that's who I am. I am. When we met I knew that he was the one, she told Cosmetologian. In April twenty fourteen of getting engaged after three months of dating, at my wedding I felt like a rock star and a badass when it was amazing. In that room. It was so full of love. It was like nothing I would never ever been to before, and it was exactly what we wanted it to be. It was the eighth wonder of the world, the greatest wedding of all time. Speaking of weddings, Kuko will be heading down the aisle again soon, on the small screen. The 29-year-old whose TV character re recently married on her on-screen boyfriend in real life ex Johnny Galiski on Big Bang Theory was asked about the potential of awkwardness during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live on Sunday, where she admitted she dodged a bullet with what she could have been a horrible situation. Well, we dated like five years ago, she said of Galeski, who even attended his co-star's wedding of New Year's Eve 2013. So I think we've both moved on, and Johnny's really one of my best friends. It is, it's a situation that ended well. I understand sometimes it doesn't. And Ryan seemed to be cool with him, too, and he's one of my dearest friends, and Ryan loves him. She had, of the 40-year-old actor, I got lucky. That could have been horrible. People was the first to record the split. Coming up next, we have some news of what went wrong in their marriage. We're going why they were going to split. So that's coming up next. This will be my last video to make for you guys. Okay? Thanks guys so much for listening. I will chat you later. Bye.